Troy, final question. I'm going to shift gears to football before we let you go. And, you know, you 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 played the game for decades, so you, you know the game inside out. I've always wondered, you know, what it is about home field advantage and why it can mean so much to so many different teams. And I think if you look at pro sports, there might not be a team that uses home field advantage better than the Seattle Seahawks. They are just, you know, unbeatable at home. They've lost one game at home in two years. Uh, San Francisco, they've been road warriors. But, you know, you look at it, their last 15 games, they've won 13 of their last 15 road games other than the two trips to Seattle. And the two games there, this year and last year, they got absolutely bombed in. Now, a lot of people believe that, you know, with Crabtree back, with Vernon Davis, uh, you know, back from the concussion, that this team is clicking at all cylinders. They've, they've won road games now in Arizona at the end of the year and then in Green Bay and then in Carolina. Can they turn around what's been a house of horrors uh, for them on Sunday and uh, have a much better effort? They're going to need one in Seattle than what they've seen the last couple times they've been out there. Isn't it going to be awesome? Huh? I, just, I just can't wait. I yeah. was really excited for the Panthers and the Niners, and that game pretty much lived up to billing, but this game is... One that we've all awaited, like you're saying, Eric. They've been dominated 71 to 16 yep. uh, collectively as a score the last couple of games, and we all see why in Seattle. We see that <clears throat> 12 flag right yep. flying around and everywhere they can fit it on that stadium, and it's hard to ex- ex- share. I think verbalize what it is to, to play at home, and when you've got those fans and you're protecting your house, that whole notion of just someone coming into your city and taking something from you. Uh, is like you could walk into our city and you, you maybe you're going to beat us, but you're going to limp home. That's the sort of mentality yeah. I think a lot of teams have at home. And Seattle's got it in spades that they actually measured on on a uh, there's a seismic effect <laughs> to the ground the last time yeah. the, the 49ers win there. Uh, it's hard to imagine, isn't it, overcoming a deficit of 71 to 16 over the last two two times visited, and you look at these teams, the one thing that I would give here, and you mentioned some of the strengths or the things that the Niners have been able to accomplish, the Seattle Seahawks right now are really struggling offensively. Yep. They're, they, they're really struggling. The and, passing game has been terrible. Yeah, and you mentioned Vernon Davis back, and he was out early in that first game or yep. the most recent game against Seattle. Talk about Crabtree coming back. It does seem like the 49ers are starting to catch some traction here. The noise was a massive factor in those two games uh, for Colin Kaepernick to try and deal with, and he was absolutely horrible the last time he was in Seattle. I, I, it's hard for me. I, I don't know how you can avoid picking Seattle to win at home, but, oh, boy, I, like the 49ers are going to bring everything, and it's you just wonder. It's a good thing that there's two weeks after that game until the Super Bowl because both these teams are going to be bit up there, and I just – the, the level of defense that we're going to witness is going to be absolutely glorious, and I can't wait to watch it all unfold. Yeah, 